Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Myrna. If you are new here, I am a full-time reseller on platforms like eBay and Poshmark. And so welcome. And so happy new year, guys. It is 2024. It is Friday morning on January the 5th. And I have been very busy this week. Um, just working on a new spreadsheet for the year um cleaning things out getting rid of things um, trying to organize uh yeah i want to get ready for hopefully a very successful 2024 in reselling and so today my video is about my top 15 sales of 2023 um i hope you guys had a great 2023 i hope that you hit your yearly goal in sales. Uh, sadly, I did not hit my yearly goal. Um, I was down $10,000 from reaching my goal for 2023. Um, but I'm not complaining. I'm not sad about it because it is a privilege uh, to be able to work from home and do what I love to do on my own time in my own terms. And I am my own boss. And so for that reason, I am grateful. I still had a great year. Um, and so I have new goals for 2024. I think that the summer slowdown uh, hurt my business. Um, but I think that I was also slowing down because I was outside and doing things and just enjoying summer. So for this year, I hope to approach summer slowdown a little bit better by listing more items and um, hopefully I will have a successful 2024 and hit my yearly goal um, which is quite high but um, you got to shoot for the stars right so anyhow I hope you guys had a great new year and yes let's let's hit the road running with um, listing and sourcing great items and um, yeah, we should all be successful if we work hard. Hard work pays off. And like they say, the um, early bird gets the warm. So get up early and get busy working for your business. Um, it takes a lot of hard work and dedication. But uh, at the end of the day, we can go to bed very satisfied with our goals, reaching our goals and... Um, just doing the best that we can. All right. So guys, um, like I said, I am going to go over my top 15 sales of 2023. And most of these uh, were on eBay. Um, maybe three or four, actually three sales came from Poshmark. The rest were from eBay. So 12 eBay, great sales. And um, let me get started. Uh, I'll start with my lowest one and work my way up to the top. So the first one is um, a Freebird by Stephen Tall Leather Boots. These were called the Gia. These were a size 10. They were brown, western style, cowgirl style. They had uh, manufactured distressing and uh, these boots sold for $135.20 plus shipping. I paid $7 for these boots, $6.99. And uh, these took a couple weeks to sell, but uh, the buyer um, did give me positive feedback. She was thrilled with the boots, so very happy with that sale. All right, and then my next sale was also eBay, and the this sale was two Jonathan Alder uh, needlepoint throw pillows in a chevron pattern. They were a 12 by 12, so tiny little pillows, um, and they were down filled. These were vintage, and um, I found these by luck because I normally don't look in the home goods area with the pillows and stuff. So um, they just caught my eye. They were on a shelf and I decided to throw them in my cart. And when I looked up the um, 
the designer of the pillow, I was very excited um, to bring them home and list them right away. And these little pillows sold really fast. Um, I believe I had paid $4.99 for each one. So $10 investment into $140. These uh, throw pillows went to Portland, Oregon, and the buyer was completely thrilled with her pillows. So a very nice sale there. Uh, so um, just look, look around when you see the throw pillows, just look for needlepoint or anything that looks unique. Um, just take a minute and just see who makes them and uh, research and you might be surprised. Um, yeah, this was a very, very nice sale and a very surprising sale because not something that I normally would pick up, but very happy with that sale. Okay, the next sale came from Poshmark and this sale was a Nike Kobe AD Chrome men's sneakers in a size 16. Like that's a big foot. We paid $6.99 for these sneakers. My husband threw them in our shopping cart while we were thrifting on a weekend. And I listed them um, a little on the high side. I would say maybe $189, $179. Anyhow, we did receive an offer of $159 and I did accept it. Um, the buyer did send me a message when he received them. He says, if you took pictures of the shoes in better lighting, you could sell these for a lot more. I mean, they literally look brand new except the bottoms. Thank you so much. I'm going to enjoy wearing these and I appreciate the sticker. I'm happy to support the business. Um, did I leave money on the table? Um, my pictures probably were not that great. Um, here's a buyer giving me feedback. I appreciate it. So mm, something to think about, right? Uh, but I was happy with that sale. Um, these sneakers sold really quickly, I would say within a matter of three to four weeks. And um, yeah, not a bad return for $7 investment. So very nice. I did find another pair of Kobe sneakers that I have priced at $2.99. And uh, we'll see how these do. Um, anything Kobe Bryant from the Lakers as he has passed away um, are quite valuable so I'm keeping my fingers crossed for those sneakers to do well all right my next sale is also a Poshmark sale and that was a Barbara Tafank pink brocade silk fit and flare dress it was a size four and I paid let's see paid $7.99 for this dress and the dress sold for a $162 offer. Uh, very excited, first time finding that brand, and it's rare because I have not come across it again. This one sold in April, and a very nice sale there. And uh, again, I did receive positive feedback from the buyer. All right, and then the next item that I sold, and I was thrilled with this sale, it, it's an eBay sale. This one was a J. McLaughlin Women's Blue Paisley Animal Print Jaipur 100% Cashmere Fringe Scarf. I did pay, I believe, $3.99 for this scarf, and it sold for $161.96. And uh, it sold within days of listing. And I always recommend that you check scarves, uh, the scarf and belt section, because these sections, um, you might think that, you know, yeah, there's gonna be scarves in there that are probably five, six, seven, eight dollars, uh, maybe a $20 profit, but then you can find some scarves that are worth hundreds. So this one is proof. I. Um, was thrilled to find it and listed right away and happy with that sale. The buyer did love her scarf. All right, another eBay sale. This is a men's Sorel Caribou Reserve Bison Leather Boots in Cinnamon, size 11. These were a rare uh, pair of men's snow boots. And I did, I did pay up for them. I did pay $19.99 for these, uh, but they did sell 
on an offer of $138 plus shipping. The buyer actually paid $29.54 in shipping. And these went to Colorado. And uh, yeah, that was a nice sale. Those boots took a couple weeks to sell. All right, my next sale is also on eBay. And this one was an M2057 Maria Pinto shift dress in Florence. I guess Florence is the color. Mini tunic stretch, extra large. Uh, this was a red dress with pockets. Very unassuming brand, but I did pay up for it, $19.99. And I only paid up for it after I checked the comps to see uh, how much these dresses were selling for. So I did pay up for it. Um, it did sell rather quickly for $189.95 plus shipping. And I was thrilled with that sale. I do have another Maria Pinto dress uh, in black that I found different style and I am actually sitting on that one so I have to lower my price. Okay, my next sale also an eBay one. This one was pretty recent. Um, this was a Klim, K-L-I-M men's climate parka insulated snowmobile Gore-Tex jacket size extra large in black. And I picked this one up I did pay $19.99 for it, and I only paid up for it because, again, I wasn't familiar with the brand, but I did see that it had the Gore-Tex sign on it or a logo somewhere. I think it was on the sleeve or in the back. And I looked it up, threw it in my cart, looked it up, and i uh, very thrilled with the sold comps and the sell-through rate. So i did purchase it and it sold within a matter of days for 165 dollars the buyer um had started offering me like 140 and we were going back and forth um and i accepted 165 plus shipping and the buyer was very happy with his snowmobile jacket very nice brand um good sell through rate uh so the, i consider that a bolo Okay, my next sale on eBay um, was Christian Audigear women's jeans size 28. These were the spider baby embroidered skulls and they were boot cut. We paid $3.75. We um, actually, they were $4.99 and we got a 20% off or something like that. So they ended up being $3.75 and they sold for $179.95 plus shipping. I did a little happy dance when those sold and they sold rather quickly within a couple days of listing. Very excited with that sale. First time finding that brand. All right, and then my next sale is on Poshmark and this one was a garage sale find. I paid $5. I found these on a rack of shoes in somebody's garage sale all the way in the bottom, just sitting there and so that's the only thing that i grabbed from this garage sale i asked the lady how much are these and she's like all oh, the shoes are five dollars okay all right thank you i'll grab these burberry nova check rubber rain ankle boots waterproof size 38 or us size 8. i turned those five dollars into 190 dollars um very excited with that sale sold within days of listing and uh yeah who would have thought? <laughs> okay, so my next sale was a wonderful sale. This one was a Johnny Waz Versa jacket, reversible print, vintage floral patchwork, hooded size large. This one sold on eBay and it was, um, I paid $7 for it, $6.99, and it sold for $199.95 plus shipping very very thrilled with that sale sold really fast as well i would say within a couple days of listing um johnny was is a bolo brand it doesn't matter what you get most of uh johnny was items will sell very well so i never leave anything johnny was as long as it's in, in good condition i will buy it I recently sold a Johnny Was top that had stain, a stain in the front, and I think I sold it for $65. It sells, guys. Highly recommend you pick up Johnny Was. All right, my next sale is also an eBay sale. 
This one was an IFCO Women's Intarsia Floral Long Codigan Sweater, size 36 or US 6. This was a wool blend, very bohemian, floral, long cardigan. Uh, it's a long cardigan, but they call it a codigan because it's pretty solid, uh, heavy. And I did pay, uh, I believe, $10 for this one. And this one sold for $197.95. On eBay and it sold within days of listing very happy and this one went overseas uh, global shipping very happy with that sale okay guys and then I just recently showed you this uh, belt this is an eBay sale I showed you this belt on my either my last one of the last um, thrift hauls I paid $2.90 for this belt. It's called the Larry Knapp 2006 Douglas Magnus Sterling Size 37 Men's Braided Leather Belt. This belt um, had the stamp on it of Douglas Magnus and it was designed by Larry Knapp, signed. And like I said, I paid $2.99 for it. I listed this belt in the $300 range because I did see sold comps, one sold comp for $325. Um, so I listed mine around the same and I got an offer for $235 from a man in Honolulu, Hawaii, which I accepted because um, I would be stupid to counter on a $235 offer when I've paid $2.99 for it. Could I have gotten more money? Yes, but I didn't want to take a chance that I don't accept this great offer and then sit on it. So I accepted and uh, yeah, it sold rather quickly. And like I said before, do not skip the belts or the scarf sections. You can make tons of money in those two sections. You can find great items and uh, yeah, this is probably my best belt sale ever. $235, guys. I can't believe it. And yes, I did a happy dance. <laughs> okay, my next item is also an eBay sale. This one was a Disney Parks Dooney and Burke Tinkerbell Floral Shopper Tote. And I paid $9.99 for it. And it sold for $224.10. And I would say it sold rather quickly, probably within a couple weeks of listing. And uh, yeah, that was a great sale there. And I found this next bag on the same day. The day that we found these bags, I think we had picked up a lot of wallets and coach bags and Dooney and Burke bags. It was like a bag thrift haul. Amazing. I made, I made tons of money on this thrift haul, guys. So this is my best sale of 2023. It was a Coach Cassie Top Handle Black Polished Pebbled Leather Crossbody Bag with the turn lock little uh, closure. I paid $14.99 and it sold for $375 plus shipping. So I was amazed with that sale and these um, leather bags. These are sort of the vintage ones from Coach. They're still a bolo, guys. Um, I see sold comps all the time. Very, very good sold comps for these. So not the signature fabric type of bags. The leather ones are uh, the ones you want to be on the lookout for. So yeah, that was my top sale of 2023. Um, I hope this information is helpful for you guys. Um, most of these brands are bolos within themselves, depending on the styles and you know whether they're leather or whatnot. Gore-Tex, uh, Johnny Was, um, yeah, lots of great bolos here. Uh, that belt by Larry Knapp, um, designed by Larry Knapp, amazing. So, yeah. Very, very happy with these sales. All right, guys, guys, that wraps up my top 15 sales of 2023. I hope you guys um, have a great rest of your day. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, 
please consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you follow my reselling journey. Uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this sort of content. And I will see you guys all in my next one. Take care. Bye.